are here today with author Hillary Sussman. We are so excited to have you here today. How are you, Hillary? Hi, thanks for having me. Oh, great. We know that you are the author of a couple great books, Roxy and Malibu, It's Okay to Be Different, and Roxy and Tolly, Words Matter. Can you tell us what inspired you to write your book, Roxy and Tolly, Words Matter? So, thanks for having me again. My first book is Roxy and Malibu, It's Okay to Be Different, and the second book, Roxy and Tolly, Words Matter, um, I really wanted Roxy to have to go out into the world and she's wearing a prosthesis and I wanted to teach kids um, about anti-bullying and the power of words and also it's not about prosthetics but she is wearing a prosthesis so it's an opportunity to kind of throw that in there and educate kids along the way about something they might not know about like limb difference awareness. Oh this is a great book. I hear your book is about bullying. That can be a real problem with kids these days, especially if you're a little different. Yep, exactly. Different can come in all different shapes and sizes. Different doesn't have to be limb loss or limb difference. Different can be being short or being a slow learner or wearing glasses. So it's an opportunity to teach kids about differences in general and to be kind and inclusive. Can you read a couple pages of your book? I want our viewers to see your book. Awesome. So in the first page here, Roxy is really scared to go to school and she's in her crate and she doesn't want to go to school and wear her prosthesis, but then her parents make her go. But the reason, the way I'm going, what I'm going to read to you is she meets a friendly pig named Clementine and she invites her to eat lunch with her. So it's really nice that she, after sitting alone on the bus, she meets a friend. But what happens is she meets Tully the bully. So in walks this big bull. And what I'm gonna read to you is what happens with the bully. So on the playground, um, the bully makes fun of uh, Roxy and makes fun of her leg. And then all the animals come and they support Roxy and, to and, and Clementine right here and they're basically say to the bully we've had enough you know what i mean like your words are powerful yes. your words matter and so right here she said Sl tully slowly looked down and then we heard him moo i didn't know how to make friends bullying was easier to do i've never liked my horns and i've always felt too tall i barked back tully you don't have to feel ashamed at all so Tully realizes the reason he's been a bully is because he didn't like himself. He felt too tall. He didn't like his horns. But the animals are trying to teach him that we all have insecurities and that does not give you the excuse to be mean. So right here, the goat says, Ma, I don't like having a beard. And then the snake says, I don't like being feared. And then the owl hoots, it's hard being the smartest one. And then the bird chirps, Wearing glasses is not that much fun. So all the animals teach the reader that everyone's insecure, but you do have to be careful of your words. Oh, this is such a good book. And the illustrations are so great. I also like how you let us know the reasons why some kids bully. It makes a lot of sense. I can tell your book has made a big difference. I have read it and I love it so much. Thank you. I wanted to know which book would be the best book to read to your kiddos today. Which one of your books would someone run out and go get right now? You mean out of my two books? Yes. Well, it depends on which one you want to read. So Roxy and Malibu, it's okay to be different. You can learn how Roxy lost her leg and how she meets a friend who's missing an ear and teaches him to be confident. or. If you want to talk about kids going to school and bullying, then you can read this one. Your choice. Great. Okay, where can viewers find out more about you and where can they find your books? So on my website, there is a lot. So I would love you to go to my website at adventuresofroxy.com. And the best part about my website is all the free activities. So you can go, parents can print out for their kids 
all kinds of coloring pages, educational oh. pages. Oh yes, great! Teachers can print them out and really teach kids the lessons of the book. And it's a great conversation piece. And this is my favorite, Color Roxy's Prosthesis. There's a definition of what a prosthesis is. So every family can really learn a new word and be a little bit more aware of other people and their differences. Oh wow, it sounds like you have a lot of fun things on your website. You have activities, coloring pages, and it looks like a word search. Yep, a word search. There's a crossword puzzle, there's an unscramble, and then teachers, there's a great like book report for each, you know, with the squares and they can fill out who is your favorite character. So it really can be a lesson plan at any school. Oh, that is a good idea. Very good idea for teachers. I know teachers are always looking for lesson plans and books to go with it. And I think you have a cute little stuffy on your website too? I do. We have a three-legged Roxy and the kids oh, love Roxy. Oh, so cute. Roxy is squishy and cozy, but the best part about Roxy is that she's missing a leg and it kind of teaches representation. So she's adorable, but she's a little different. And that kind of keeps sending the message out. It sends a message out that it's okay to be different. I love what you are doing, Hillary. You are really speaking to kids and families. Now, what would you say to a little kiddo out there that wants to write a book of their own? I really encourage kids of all ages to go down the path of writing a book. There are so many ways parents to publish books that don't cost any money on KDP, Amazon, and stuff like that. So if you really want to do it, don't let anything stop you and follow your dreams. That's what I would say. Excellent, Hillary. Thank you for that advice. We enjoyed having you here today, hearing about your stories and your website and your activities and your stuffies. It has been such a pleasure having you here today. Thank you for having me. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye.